Hi guys, sorry I just wanted to make a really quick video and this is about the call for unity. You know the Philippines right now is going through a difficult time financially. You know they just uh, suffered this typhoon, they've gone through the devastating effects of Covid which has meant that the Philippines has needed to borrow more financially. But then we have President BBM and Ma'am Indai Sara Duterte, or Vice President Sara Duterte. They ran on a platform of unity. Now what this unity means, I believe, is the Filipinos working together, praying together, being together. The way the Philippines will improve and get through these difficult times is from the encouragement of all Filipinos. I've been disheartened recently by the negative press that's been talking about the weakening Philippine peso. The way to talk up these difficult times or the way to discourage investment is to keep on going on about the weakening peso. The Philippine currency is not the only currency around the world that's weakening against the dollar. The same thing is happening here in the United Kingdom as well. I believe the Philippines needs prayer. I believe so many Filipinos right now, I've read it online, seem to be waiting for President Bongbong Marcos to fail. They seem to be uh, uh, making fun, they seem to be talking about this unity and no positive action. But really I believe through the prayers of every single Filipino, the country will improve. How can the Philippines encourage foreign investment if some Filipinos themselves talk down the country. I believe there are so many Filipinos who were maybe work in foreign governments, in uh, high places, and they can encourage foreign investment by talking about how good the Philippines is, by talking about how stable the country is, and talking about the, uh, the strong leadership of the country. This is what's important. Unity means the prayer of all Filipinos, not just the few. Instead of criticizing President Bongbong Marcos, why are people not praying for him? You know, I listened to his speech in the United Nations. I listened to his speech on the New York Stock Exchange. And it's very clear that he has his fingers on the pulse of the nation. He knows the issues of the country. He knows how to solve them. He has a strong economic plan. He's talking about improvements by the end of his term and continuing. And this requires the support of all Filipinos. So why some Filipinos are sitting back and watching and laughing and making negative comments on social media? Is this really helping the country? Is this really helping the president? You know, even in terms of tourism, you know, some Filipinos themselves are not promoting the Philippines as a good destination. They're talking about corruption, you know, some people saying that President BBM and the family and thieves and everything like that. This is not the way to talk up a nation, you know, let's move on. Let's forget about the past. Let's try and move on. Let's try and be positive. Let's all pray. Let's really stand united. Uh, you know, I really do believe right now this is a crucial time in the Philippines economy. After President uh, Rodrigo Duterte, you know, we now have President BBM. He continues that legacy with Vice President Indai Sara Duterte. You know, I'm not Filipino myself. I'm a foreigner. But if I can pray for the Philippines, if I can pray for the President of the Republic of the Philippines, why can't some Filipinos do the same? You know, I really do believe there is power in unity. I do really do believe that if all Filipinos prayed for their country, prayed for their leader, don't forget President BBM was elected by a majority of more than 30 million Filipinos. And he doesn't just represent those 30, Philippine, 30 million Filipinos, he represents 110 million Filipinos. I can tell you that he's working night and day for the interests of those 110 million Filipinos. And I really do hope those same Filipinos will pray for him, pray for his leadership, and let's support his endeavors rather than those critics, rather than that 
foreign media and that Philippine bias media waiting for him to fall rather than looking at you know any single criticism against him let's pray for him let's pray for the country let's be pleased when the president goes abroad and talks highly of the philippines i was really encouraged to hear the statements and the press releases and everything happening on the recent visit of president bongbong marcos to america let's all stand behind him let's all stand near him you know as a foreigner if i can pray for president bbm how much more for filipinos let's support the philippines mabuhay filipinos mabuhay president bbm i'm hoping you can come to the united kingdom soon in the meantime you have my support you have this my support in terms of praying for you and your administration and i do hope some negative filipinos will look to the future and try and support you rather than criticizing you because you are after all the democratically elected president of the republic of the philippines Mabu.